Hey, welcome to the Bible Boot Camp Podcast. I'm Jeff McDaniel. And I'm Jessica. And we're here, episode four. Man, this week, we've got hurricanes, we've got Hebrews, and we've got standing on the promises of God. That's a nice little introduction, isn't it? Yeah. And oh, by the way, so we're getting, this is, a, obviously, as I just mentioned, fourth episode. So uh, we're starting to get a little bit more professional like we actually have bullet points i mean she she did this like but we we're we're not just going unscripted freestyle no we actually took five minutes and made a bullet point <laughs> i mean we're, we're getting more professional wouldn't you say yeah yeah a little bit every every time and uh now in the realm of not being professional so you probably still hear a background noise we're outside we're on her deck but it's uh at least probably Less background noise than the ocean waves down on Dolphin Island we did last week. But, um, you know, one day we're going to be fancy. We're going to have a professional recording studio. We'll be like the big boys and girls, you know. One day. One day. <laughs> but not today. Okay, so so mention this right here. Hurricanes, Hebrews, and standing on the promises. What are we talking about? Well, number one, let's talk about the hurricanes. This is a little bit like, um, and by the way, this kind of, is it ducktails or dovetails into something? What's that expression? I, have no I think idea. it's I think it's dovetails. <laughs> Never heard of expression? Dovetails? It basically segues or something. Okay. Uh, I'm sure the listeners will will you know correct me on that. But basically, we talked about like family dysfunction, how to deal with that coming in. Well, this is tied into hurricanes that happen in your life, and it could be your family. And you know, Jessica had some mini hurricanes. Many, as in M I N I, small, yeah. some larger, yeah. but also M A N Y, many hurricanes all within a seven day period. So, okay, start us off here. You had some hurricanes, and really, she came up with a topic for this. She came up with like what this podcast subject should be. And um, I'm going to just kind of share with them overview of your week in the yeah. past seven days. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, there's that expression, when it rains, it pours. Well, this was last week. Um, starting out on, really, Sunday night, just started kind of dealing with some some things like, um, well, starting off with my dog. She's not, she's kind of older, and, you know, she was my grandmother's dog, and so she's very special to me, and um, we have noticed that she's starting to decline, but uh, we were trying to do what's best for her, uh, not really knowing what was going on with her Sunday night, um, but we knew that we uh, needed to get her into the vet and get her checked out, and, you know, I was really upset. My mom was upset because, you know, we, we didn't know if we were going to have to make a decision to do something that was best for Dora that we really didn't want to do. Um, it all turned out okay. Uh, turns out she, we were able to um, give her some medicine that helped to keep her comfortable. And so she's, we still have her with us and she is comfortable. And so, but that was kind of like one of those mini storms that Jeff is talking about where, um, I just was really hard to deal with. And I, I thought I was going to have to do something I really didn't want to do. And so that, that, that started it off and then dealing with some personal things that was going on, and just kind of having to battle some things personally that I've, I've been battling for a while. And um, that kind of escalated a little bit higher level of the storm, a little bit, you know, so more severe storm. And then we, I had a family issue, like my extended family issue happened that was hard and uh, was very challenging. And, um, you know, life is just full of storms. It's just life. If you are living, breathing, then you are going to experience storms. Uh, but the good thing is that God promises uh, things to us that helps us to stand and helps us to be strong. And so as this last week, as I was going about my day, I was kind of feeling defeated. I was not sure, you know how to kind of deal with all of the many storms that was going on. I just, I felt overwhelmed and I was just kind of walking through the house and this old hymnal song standing on the promises of God came to my mind. I haven't even sang that song uh, in 
long time, probably years, but for some reason that song came to my mind. And so I felt uh, led just to sit down and read the verses because I, I really didn't really remember. I remembered, of course, I remembered the main part, standing on the promises of God, but I didn't, re I didn't really remember all the things that were said within that song. So I sat down and I looked at all of the verses of that song. And in verse two, it really struck me and really just kind of gave me that little, I don't know, reassuring that God was speaking to me and that, you know, everything was going to be okay. And verse two and standing on the promise of, promises of God says, standing on the promises of, that cannot fail when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail by the living word of God, I shall prevail standing on the promises of God. And I just felt like that was so fitting in my life at that moment, because um, I knew that no matter what, no matter all the many storms that was going on, that I, am, I can stand on the promises of God and know that I'm going to be okay. Um, and in addition to that, I went on to Hebrews 10.23 that says, let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm for God can be trusted to keep his promises. And um, it's just, it's just, that is something that we have to really grasp onto is the promises of God. When we're going through all of these storms in our life, we have to remember the things that God says, things that God's promising us. And some of those things are, he promises to be with us. He promises to protect you. He promises to be your strength, your answer. He promises to provide for you. He pro promises to give you peace. And he promises to always love you. And so I think that when we are going through these storms in life, standing on these promises is what's going to help us through all these little mini storms and many hurricanes and even if you're entering a tsunami of like just an overwhelming sudden gush of just storms these this is the best thing you can do is go back to the word and find the promises and stand on those that's going to be your encouragement that's going to be what helps you through all of these many many storms in your life yeah, that, that's so good. I, and and by the way, like <clears throat> a couple of things, these the hurricanes that came, um, like it's it came in waves. In waves, yep. All right, and much like waves at the ocean, mm -hmm. they escalated. Like the S Sunday Monday was was the first little storm mm -hmm. with the dog. And by the way, like I mean, if you got a dog, <clears throat> it is not easy to put a dog down. No. Uh, it's now and. This is your mammer's dog. Yes, which so, was my grandmother. That's right, your grandmother. <laughs> uh, and I mean, your mom, visibly upset, emotional, yeah. like, because this, this, I mean, she died, what, uh, two years ago, three years ago? Almost three. Three years ago. All right, this is the last, like, little connection to her. Mm -hmm. That dog symbolized more than just a dog that she loved. So it's, it, it may, you know, but that's, it was emotional. It was emotional for, and by the way, all these storms, these don't just affect you. All right. three of these impact the whole Landrum clan here, you know. So right. we had the dog, you know, Sunday and, and Monday. Then another personal uh, hurricane came in your life, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the third one. And it got bigger, bigger, bigger. So in the midst of this, like she was sharing this with me. This is actually one of our devotionals. We, we've we been doing this um, uh, devotional for couples. And uh, I'll I'll post the link again. I've tried to do this in the show notes. But if you want to do it, we, we decided to table that for a night. <clears throat> and she just shared this with me. And it was this, con this image of standing. What, what are you standing on? The promises of God. Like you, your feet are rooted and grounded, but here comes, what's that uh, second verse? The howling winds. Of storms and doubt. Right. And they come and they try to rock you off of where you're grounded at, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which is on the word of God. Okay. So she shares this with me. And this, this is the beauty of God. I just, so the same day that she, sh well, I guess, um, you shared this with me one evening, the very next day. This is the ripple effect of how God used that for you, right. used it for me, used it for your extended family. But then it even goes out from that. The very next day, I'm in there. I'm in Target, West Little Rock Target. Special shout out to, to my man, Gabe, <clears throat> who runs that that establishment. But he, I was talking to him, and he um, 
sharing with me like his own personal crisis that was going on within the store and angry customer. It was making him feel bad. He tried to get resolution with this customer and it just, it, it wasn't working. And he was bearing the, the weight of that. And he just like, you know, I want everybody to be happy and all this stuff. And he was sharing this little of these M-I-N-I -I, mini storms that were happening in his professional and personal life. And I shared with him what you said. Because he wanted every single person that walks into that Target to be happy and to leave out happy. I'm fully satisfied. I was like, I told him, I said, look, that ain't going to happen. And we, I pointed him back to, I said, because he, he's met Jessica before. And I said, let me share with you what she's gone through and what she shared with me now. And I shared this with him. And it was just very powerful. I don't know if I said it as eloquently as she just did, but I, I shared with him that. And I could tell, man, his spirit was uplifted. And what was his words? Wow, I needed to hear that. Now, that didn't come from me. I was the voice, but it kind of came from you. And ultimately, this is where God was using these hurricanes right. to take you through this. So it, it just, you know, and who knows what comes from this? Some of these storms that she's dealing with, they're not going away. They're, they're going to be here this week, you know? Yeah. Dora's still right over here, and she's still, you know, yeah. 11 years old and in the physical decline. And you know, you got that. Point. You know, you'll You're, have to come back to this. That's right. Your personal struggles continue on. It hasn't been resolved. Uh, the, the larger, more with your family, still going on. So we still have to deal with these. But um, this kind of centered us back to what is important. And just that, and that passage in Hebrews, what was it, 1023? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, I mean, just keep rooted. So bottom line, we're all going to face hurricanes. Right. And I'm going to face them. And, like, I'm kind of facing a, it's, it's it's not quite a hurricane. There's a, there's a little breeze starting to build, you know. Yeah, I can feel high it. Winds. High winds. That's right. <laughs> that's right. The tropical depression hasn't hit yet, but, you know, can I keep my heels locked down and stand on the promises when the wind's coming off? So I just thought that was a great, the imagery fits, and it's it's biblical and all. Right. And I think another thing to hold tight to is the scriptures that, um, that back up all of these promises. Gosh, there's so many. Like I, we could not, we could not sit here and read all of the promises that God has in the Bible. Like it would take way too long. But there are a few that are very. I feel like they are very good at like really helping you whenever you're going through a storm, a specific storm. One is like you know when you're going through a storm, you don't feel safe. Sometimes you feel like um, like a turtle without a shell. You you feel just completely unprotected. But when God says He will protect you, He He means that He will that you can trust Him to be your protector. And in Psalms fifty six three, He says it says, "When I am afraid, I put my trust in You." And so that is just affirming to like, we can trust God. We can trust him even whenever things seem like impossible. We can trust him. And he is our, he is our best hope in this world. So uh, another one would be when you don't know what to do. And often when we're faced with storms, we don't know what to do. We don't know which way to turn. We kind of feel like we're at a fork in the road and we don't, we don't know which way to go. And so another one was specifically, I will answer you. And Psalms 116.2 says, because he bends down, the Lord bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. So God hears us. He knows your storm. He sees you. And when you pray, he hears you. So I feel like that is just a reassuring that you're not alone and that he's going to He's going to hear you. He's going to answer you in some ways. Now, your answer may not look exactly what the way you think it's going to look. <laughs> Sometimes we have ideas of what the answer should look like, but God has different ideas. And just know that whatever God decides is best for your life. And the last one, which kind of goes in with this, is I will provide for you. God's going to give you what you need in this life. He knows what you need. You think you know what you need. You don't always know what you need. It, the, in Isaiah 66, 9, it says, I will not cause pain without allowing something new to be born, says the Lord. And so as we go through these storms and we encounter um, turbulence and different types of like 
we might even get like knocked out of the boat a couple times and you know within the storm and have to like pull ourselves and have God help pull us back up you know he's he's not going to allow us to go through something without oh he's he's not going to cause pain in our life or allow pain to come into our life without something new being born and I think that you just have to hold tightly to these promises and the many many more and there may be other promises specifically that that um that you feel like are more relatable to you and your situation and that's where you have to get in and read the word whenever you're feeling this way and see what God says to you specifically because these are the ones God gave me but he may give you different promises he may reveal to you different scriptures that reveal to you different promises that he's made for your specific situation but remember that there are so many promises and that God has a plan and that he is doing what is best for you he has an answer and he has he has those promises for us just specifically for us that he has written in the book for us to stand on I always say the Bible is the only book in the world when you read it, it reads you back. It does. Hey, speaking of like little quote mini storms, um, and this is probably a bad segue, but you start back to school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, and it's 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 um there's a you know, it's like you you've had this vacation, you you're back to the grind and hustle. Right. Kids are not back yet, right? But in a week, um, those little kids are going to come back. She's elementary counselor, by the way. And there's, there's almost like a daily storm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, these kids, like, just like we have struggles, mm -hmm. they have their own storms. Yes. And they come right into you. Uh, so it, a few minutes here to share, like, what are you, um, you know, what are you anticipating? What do you look forward to? Well, I mean, I, I know with my job, there's going to be storms because that's part of my job is helping kids navigate through their own little storms and they don't see most likely that they're storms, but they are, they're storms that kids need help um, dealing with in their life. And that's my job to come in every day and to help them to deal with the, the storms. And, you know, in the morning before I go to school, my prayer is that God would just help me to know what's best for each kid, to know how to help each kid in each situation. Um, and I do, I do enjoy helping kids in that way um sometimes the the things that you know you have to help kids with it can be it can be hard um but it is so rewarding so the things that I, I look forward to I, I love seeing the kids after they come back from the summer like you know they've lost more teeth <laughs> they um they've got new haircuts new shoes they've grown and they're almost like you know they just kind of are becoming these um bigger little people uh for lack of a better term I guess but um they're just and they and they just they love you they're like these little they're they're the most exhausting little batteries I know that makes sense that you could ever know because in this, and they can be so exhausting, but at the same time, they can just like charge you up because they just, they love you. And, um, you know, I've said this before, I feel like the Taylor Swift of JBE because like when I walk into the room, their eyes just light up and they just make me feel loved. And so I love that about my job. I love that they just love me and that I get to love kids for a living. And I just pray that God directs me and helps me every day to make the right decisions to help each one of them throughout their little storms. And, and I mean, look, like you're not exaggerating on that. You, okay. So these kids, they're little humans. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got family dysfunction. They got family struggles. They mm -hmm. got personal struggles. And one of the cool things about your job is you're not necessarily teaching them English or science or all this stuff. You are their their go to for their personal struggles. Right. That's what it is really. And, and in a way, like you mentioned, like like the T Swift of that, but it's because um, maybe even in a different way than their own parents. Um, in some cases, the parents are the problem. You know, they see you as a light. They get to come to you that you are their happy place. So I just think that's we're we're going to talk about that maybe in an upcoming podcast, just about that whole role of being a counselor 
and in your own way pointing them to the light. So, um, and we'll talk about that. Um, hope you enjoyed this, by the way, like in the show notes, we'll put like the email, our email address. If you want to reach out to us, since a topic you'd like to hear, or just give us some feedback from this, speaking of feedback, you can give us a five-star review and, uh, like share this if you can. And the, uh, the goal is to do this each week. We've kind of gotten into this kind of Sunday routine. We're going to try to keep that up. Um, and maybe even make this a little bit more professional as we go along. But this is, hey, this is grassroots. This is rough. It's a rough cut. So um, anyway, but uh, we're enjoying this, and um, we'll be touching base with you hopefully next week. So uh, until then, you guys have a blessed week. Take care.